Who doesn't love a good roller coaster? Whether it's for their speed, their height, or their crazy twists and their themes, we all like to get some adrenaline pumping while riding on these thrilling inventions. But unfortunately, sometimes life happens, and that's when a place full of fun rides suddenly turns into an eerie abandoned location that can easily become the scenario for a zombie apocalypse. Today we're going to be looking at 10 abandoned roller coaster parks and see how some of the best parks in the world turn into creepy abandoned locations more fitting for a horror movie. When you make it to the top of this list, you'll see how all these places can easily be turned into attractions of their own kind. Because after all, exploring abandoned creepy places comes with its own thrills. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Dunblompen, England. Back in the 90s, there was a popular TV show in the UK called Noelle's House Party. It was presented by the famous TV star Noelle Edmond, and it featured a popular character called Mr. Blobby. This character was so famous that it even got its own set of themed parks. Unfortunately though, none of the parks survived the decade, and by the end of the 90s, they were all closed. One of the parks got turned into a hotel, but surprisingly, they left one of its areas intact. It was the area called Dunblobbin, and it has now been taken over by nature. While in the past, Dunblobbin was the area dedicated for the little ones to play, this spot is now a place where ghost hunters gather, hoping to catch a glimpse of a supernatural event. A lot of rumors say the place is haunted, but I guess only the ones who dare to visit it will be able to tell if that one is true. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Spree Park, Germany. Right outside Berlin, there is an abandoned park with a very long history. Its latter name was Spree Park, but it was actually built in the year of 1969 by the Communist Party of East Germany. They had a different name for it, and they called it Kulti. Twenty years later, the park was rebranded as the Berlin Wall Fell. However, the new owner of the park was involved in some criminal actions like smuggling drugs to the shipping of the equipment needed for the park. At the end, the park closed operations due to the owner's questionable actions, but also because of the lack of enough visitors to sustain operations. Today, the amusement park is abandoned, but you can still spot some of its rides such as the Ferris Wheel, a Cup Carousel, and the Spree Blitz Roller Coaster. Even though the place is abandoned, it still holds onto the charms of its days of glory. The place was even featured in the film Hannah. Today, you can take a tour of this abandoned park for only 5 euros. I guess you might want to add that to your list of places to see in Berlin. Number 8. Gulliver's Kingdom, Japan You'll soon realize that Japan is quite a popular spot for abandoned theme parks, and here's the first one on this list, Gulliver's Kingdom. If you're into literature, you've probably heard about Gulliver's Travels, and this is exactly what inspired this short-lived park. Gulliver's Kingdom first opened in 1997 and shut down operations four years later, in the year of 2001. One of its main features was the large statue of Gulliver tied to the ground, which is a depiction of the scene of the book in which he gets captured by the tiny people of Lilliput. Like many parks on this list, Gulliver's Kingdom ceased operations due to the lack of enough visitors. And if you look at it closely, you'll soon realize why not many people wanted to visit this place. The park was located very close to the infamous Aikigohara, most commonly known as the Suicide Forest. And if that's not eerie enough, they were also near the former headquarters of a religious cult that took the lives of 13 people in Tokyo in 1995. I don't know about you, but that's more than enough for me to stay away from a theme park, even when it honors one of the most famous works of literature. Number 7. Dunajovrosi Vedam Park, Hungary. I'm quite sure I butchered the name of this park, however that wouldn't be the worst thing that's happened to it. Don't you just wish that sometimes that we could go on roller coasters whenever we felt like it? Unfortunately, that's no easy feat to accomplish, especially when we have to pay an entrance fee. However, this park in Hungary was different because it ran under the Communist Party for 40 years, starting in the year of 1953. And thanks to that, people could go in for free. Instead of relying on people's money, the park received funding from the government to maintain operations. Unfortunately, that is also the same reason why it had to cease operations in 1993, right after the fall of the Soviet Union. Number 6. The Land of Oz, USA. And here's another park inspired by literature, but most evidently by film. It's a park called Land of Oz, which opened in North Carolina in the summer of 1970. 
This park was the most popular one in the U.S. during its first year of operations. It brought about 4,000 visitors during its opening day, but unfortunately the success of the park didn't last long and things just got worse when the park was hit by a fire in 1975. Some people believe that the fires were started by unhappy employees, and a lot of things got destroyed, such as two buildings, the main offices of the park, some costumes, props, and also sound equipment. On top of that, some items from the museum got stolen during the chaotic moment, and that included Dorothy's dress, the same one that Judy Garland used in the film. From that moment onwards, things just went downhill. The park was then owned and managed by a new company, but people say it never got back to what it was before. They finally closed it in 1980, and now it's only an eerie memory of what was once a real-life experience out of one of the greatest films of that time. As of today, the park is a great place for photographers to capture its spooky essence. And there are also tours during the month of June and during the Autumn of Oz, an event that happens every October. Number 5. Nara Dreamland Japan After Disneyland gained world recognition, a lot of parks around the world tried to attain its same success. Nara Dreamland was not the exception. The Japanese-inspired was built in a way that mimicked the looks of California's Disneyland with its own set of brightly colored rides and some roller coasters that are now abandoned. The park opened its door in the 1960s and ran operations all the way until the year 2006. One of the main attractions was a wooden roller coaster named Asuka, which was inspired by the famous cyclone at Coney Island. It sounds like it was a pretty cool place, but unfortunately the place that served as an inspiration for Nara Dreamland turned into its competitor. Apparently, the number of visitors started to decrease after Disneyland Tokyo started operations in 1993. Later in 2001, Tokyo Disney Sea and Universal Studios Japan also began operating, which impacted dramatically the number of people coming to Nara Dreamland. The park was deserted in 2006, but it immediately became one of the most popular abandoned parks due to the many people who visit the place to get some of the spookiest photos that you can't get anywhere else. Even the tables and chairs of the coffee shop remain in place, which just adds to the experience, making it look as if the park just stopped operating all of a sudden. Number 4. Kripyant Amusement Park, Chernobyl, Ukraine Some parks get abandoned before they can even start operations, and that is the case of the Pripyat Amusement Park, one that was meant to open its doors in 1986. And if you stay up to date with historical events, you might get an idea of what happened just by looking at the place in which the park was built. That place would be Chernobyl, Ukraine. That's right, this amusement park was built right before the infamous disaster of the nuclear plant of Chernobyl. The incident happened just a few days before the park's grand opening, and they actually tried to keep operations going. They tried to allow some locals to visit the park, but operations could not be held for that much longer, as the people had to evacuate in order to avoid the risk of being exposed to high levels of radiation. Since then, the park has been untouched. All that's left is a handful of rides that never got to be used and now are ruins of what was going to be one of the most relevant attractions of this area. Funny enough though, you actually can kind of visit these parks in a few video games. This includes the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare, as well as Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl and Stalker Call of Pripyat. Number 3. Wonderland China it should not surprise you that the most populated country in the world was once the place where the largest amusement park was going to be built. The name was Wonderland, and it was located in the suburbs of Beijing, China. Construction stopped in the late 90s due to money problems and land disputes. As a result, a lot of unfinished structures lingered in the location for many years after that. You could even see the castle-like buildings that resemble those you see at Disneyland. Later in 2008, they tried to restart construction, but the attempt was not successful. The land was then claimed by farmers so they could grow their crops and ultimately the whole area was bought and turned into an outlet shopping center. But if Wonderland had finished construction, it would have been the largest amusement park in the world. People who visited the abandoned park said they could not believe the size of the park. I bet it must have been pretty impressive. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Sometimes theme parks get closed due to lack of enough visitors to sustain operations. But sometimes things are going pretty well for businesses, at least until nature hits. Like the case of this roller coaster in Casino Pier, New Jersey. This picture shows you how the Star Jet was dragged into Atlantic City by Hurricane Sandy in 2012. It had to be demolished in 2013, and now it's been replaced by other rides. Now let's have a look at another park that suffered greatly due to a terrible natural disaster. Number 2. Six Flags New Orleans, USA New Orleans has been famous for its music, its tasty food, and the historical sites that remind us of the early days of America. 
but for a long time the city was also known for being the most affected place by Hurricane Katrina. For those that don't remember, Hurricane Katrina was a natural disaster that took the lives and homes of many people in 2005. And with all the chaos, one place that was affected and never recovered was Six Flags New Orleans, one of the most famous theme parks in the region. Today, the city of New Orleans recovered, but Six Flags remains abandoned, and you can still spot some of the roller coasters and many other attractions that are slowly becoming one with the wildlife. Nearby residents have shown concern for the condition of the site, and the city authorities have considered demolishing the place. However, the city has managed to make money out of the location by allowing Hollywood Productions to make use of it to create cinematic scenarios that you can see in films like Jurassic World and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It's also a popular spot for apocalyptic photo projects. It at least sounds like the city found a creative way to rip benefits from something that was chaotic and devastating. Number 1. Takakanoma Greenland, Japan The creepiest and eeriest abandoned park on this list is in Japan. This park was closed twice. First, it closed two years after its opening in 1973, and no one could really say why they had to close so soon. Some people say they closed because there were other popular parks nearby, and some others say it was because there were quite a few accidents in their rides. Years later, the park reopened again in 1986 and continued operating until 1999 when they finally closed for good due to financial reasons. The combination of fog and abandoned roller coasters really gave this park a disturbing look. It's honestly just creepy to look at. It's honestly pretty crazy how these places were once designed for people to have fun and thrilling experiences, but are now abandoned sites that could easily be the scenario for a movie about the end of the world. Would you dare explore any of these spots? Do you wish you had visited any of these parks before they were torn down? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.